Thank you, Doug and Dr. Fitzgerald and our many other guests that are here today. This crisis was 30 years in the making, so there are no quick fix solutions. And this ad campaign is part of many, many more efforts that it will take to um, change the direction of this problem. Before you see the ads, we wanted to share with you how they were developed and the basis for which they were developed. We conducted focus groups and interviews with parents and kids who were overweight, obese, and healthy. And what we found that many of us parents were in denial about the issue. We used excuses such as they're just fluffy, chunky, thick, big boned, and on and on. So this awareness campaign was designed, and it's a provocative awareness campaign based on this research. We launched it in Macon and Columbus in February. The ads ran for six weeks and caused quite a bit of controversy. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. They got people talking about this issue and this health crisis of childhood obesity. People got really engaged in the campaign. It started a dialogue and people had very strong points of view. Our research shows that 68% of those who saw the advertising viewed it positively. They felt that it was the kind of discussion that we need to be having. The campaign is hard hitting and the crisis is real. And we feel strongly that this is the right direction and the right approach and the right thing to do for Georgia's kids. But please remember, this is only the first step. This approach is beginning, it's beginning a conversation to raise awareness. There are many long-term solutions that we're also offering with our partners to provide support and encouragement to Georgia's families through our Strong for Life effort. Today, you can't see it, but you're in front of the Strong for Life teaching garden. And it's actually a garden that children here in the hospital can tour while they're here, teaching them about vegetables and fruits and the value of that for them. And it's, it's a wonderful place. A number of kids in the app campaign are getting help from us as we speak. And we have a very special guest and her mom right here on the front row, Maya and Stormy. And we're thrilled to have you here today. And thank you for being such an inspiration to us all. I told Maya when I first met her, she's my hero. And um, did you start high school already? So she's um, just beginning high school. But she and her mom have been real inspirations. And her mom has become a very vocal spokesperson for this campaign. And we are very appreciative of that, Stormy. Maya's made great progress. And she'll be available to talk with you, she and Stormy, um, at the conclusion. Positioned around you here today are some of the print ads. Now, I, and we'll then show you the television ads. When the ads conclude, Dr. Fitzgerald, Doug, and I will be available for interviews, along with three of our physicians who are very involved in the obesity effort Dr. Stephanie Walsh, Dr. Mark Wilkin, and Dr. Sandra Moore. And as I mentioned, Maya and Stormy are also happy to, um, to speak to you. So with no further ado, I'd like to share with you the ads. Mom, why am I fat? Being thick runs in our family. As her mom, I never noticed Tamika eating any differently than the rest of us. She likes junk food, but what kid doesn't? When the doctor said she had type 2 diabetes, I never thought what we eat made her sick. I just always thought she was thick like her mama. I like going to school because all the other kids pick on me. It hurts my feelings. Playing video games is what I like to do by myself. I don't have to be around the other kids. So all they want to do is pick on me.
My doctor says I have something called hypertension. I'm really scared. Thank you for being here today, and I trust that we can count on all of you to save this generation of Georgia's children.